this lab we're going to investigate the effect of changing the height of the launch of the projectile. It's similar to our other ramp experiment except instead of going horizontally straight off we now have an angle. So the first thing you'll need to do is measure this angle. Now this is curved, do the best you can. You want the angle, you want the angle right when the ball is leaving right when the ball is leaving the ramp. There are different ways to figure out that, figure that out. You can use just some simple trig, you can get a protractor. There's an app on your iPad. You do whatever you think is best to find what that angle is. Then we're going to drop the ball and we're going to videotape it. We're going to measure the horizontal distance and we need to measure the time. We're not going to calculate we're not going to try to calculate what the time is uh, because we're leaving at an angle. So we're going to go 100, 1 meter up, and we're going to let it fly. So we now have the time and the horizontal distance. From that, you should be able to calculate the horizontal velocity and with the angle and you should be able to calculate the vertical velocity. Then we're going to take the books out. I'm not going to take the time to do it now. You'll take the books out and you'll drop this down. That will give you a new height. Then you're going to, but we're not changing the angle. So when we drop it, the velocity leaving here should be the same as what we calculated. And from that we can count, and we also know the vertical velocity. So with our new height, with the board down here, we should be able to predict now what the time is going to be when it lands. And with that time and our horizontal velocity, we should be able to predict our new range. So that's what we're going to do. You're going to predict the time and the range, and then of course you'll run the experiment, You'll find the percentage difference, and then you'll check, estimate how much air you think you have in your angle, and then you'll run that through your calculations to see how that error would impact your calculations. Good luck.